For all the latest coverage of current global events, we are your news source. Covering what mainstream media refuses to cover. Like, share, comment and subscribe. Be sure to click the bell to be notified of future news updates. What does Secretary of Defense James Forrestal's suspicious death, German World War II bases and UFO technology, and a U.S. military operation of near 5,000 men engaged in to invade barren lands have in common? Antarctica, of course. Antarctica, the most sadistic of lands. Sub-zero temperatures, unforgiving terrain, evil penguins perhaps. Antarctica is largely a mystery to civilians. But happy feet aside, have you ever questioned why? Antarctica, the coldest climate on Earth, has always been shrouded in mystery. What we do know is it's a desolate region and is the world's fifth largest continent, with 99.5% of its body covered in ice. East Antarctica is around the size of Australia and the West is made up of a series of frozen islands stretching towards South America's southern tip. Because there is little rainfall, Antarctica is classified as a desert, but rather than sandstorms, there are blizzards with winds of up to 320 km slash hour. Exploration reportedly occurred from circa 1820 onward. But what we don't know is far greater. For example, at the end of World War II Operation Hit Jump was initiated. Some will say the US hit the panic button, and conspiracy theorists amongst others, forever question why. Between August 1946 and February 1947, Operation Hit Jump was engaged in what some describe as an invasion of Antarctica. One story of the event suggests the US panicking to protect the United States from flying objects. Another less exciting version of events is the military investigating and exploring for mineral deposits, namely coal, and to also establish training for personnel, and determining, establishing and maintaining possible US bases. But whatever the task at hand for decorated Admiral Richard E. Byrd, the notable leader assigned to the operation, it also involved multiple aircraft, 13 naval ships, an aircraft carrier, the USS Philippine Sea, and close to 5,000 men. This display of military strength occurred shortly after World War II and while economies were struggling to stay afloat. The Cold War was also looming as Russia started to rise as a possible superpower and thus, begged the question of why the US would place so much money and manpower into traveling to the harshest, supposed unpopulated region in the world. Little information has ever been released about Operation Hit Jump, but the operation was launched with speed and secrecy. At the time, even then, the media were suspicious about the vast amounts of military power required for the journey. Admiral Ramsey stated at the time, the Chief of Naval Operations only will deal with other governmental agencies and that no diplomatic negotiations are required. No foreign observers will be accepted. Over 70,000 aerial photographs were taken during 220 hours of flight time and it was all shrouded in secrecy. Several men had been reported as losing their lives in plane crashes. Upon arrival home, Bird was summoned to Washington and interrogated by the security services before meeting with Secretary of Defense James Forrestal. Following, Admiral Bird declared today that it was imperative for the United States to initiate immediate defense measures against hostile regions, reported the El Mercurio, a news outlet in Chile, on March 5, 1947. The declaration Bird made is what captures all those who love the conspiracy. Flying objects that fly from pole to pole with incredible speeds were the new threat. But who were the new enemies, given Germany had just suffered a defeating blow in the war? Some say it was the remnants of the German army and bases established in Antarctica. Others aren't so sure. But it was the flying objects that dominated this mystery. 
One theory put forward was Nazi Germany's ability to have established UFO bases for their secret Nazi weapons. But would this have instigated such a heavy-handed military response under the guise of exploration, when the Germans had already been defeated? The other conspiratorial factor surrounds the death of Secretary of War James Forrestal, the chap who'd summoned Byrd to Washington. Forrestal had started talking to people of what he'd heard about the Operation Hijump mission, and was also highly critical of the then Truman administration. Soon, he was declared insane and committed to Bethesda Naval Hospital. His family sued the government for his release and won, but only a day before his due freedom, Forrestal fell to his death. Although declared suicide, scratch marks were noted all over the closed window he fell from. The suicide note left wasn't in his handwriting, and many other questionable factors arose. Today, Antarctica remains mysterious. Government non-disclosure continues. Around 30 nations now operate research stations bases on the continent. The Antarctic Treaty demands scientific research and collaboration without a military presence, yet the military do present time and again. Google Maps also reveal massive entrances into caves, some purporting them to being UFO bases or maybe old German ones. In 2012, the Antarctica got stranger as a 40-mile thing was discovered sticking out in the ice, on Google Maps around 400 miles south of the caves. And Lockheed Martin has a contract for scientific research in Antarctica. Something that was revealed accidentally only last year, and begs the question again, why? According to Disclosed TV, from the years 1983 to 1997, researchers and scientists studying the Antarctic report observing flying cargo, in the form of silver disks, circling around the Transantarctic mountains. The crew of researchers also reported seeing a large hole beside ancient ruins, located only five miles from the geographic South Pole. All this took place around the same area, a supposed no-fly zone. The researchers did not think much of it, but during an emergency medevac situation, the researchers flew over the no-fly zone, and looking down, saw something that they should have never seen. Remotely beneath the surface was a supposed extraterrestrial and human research base. Well after this, the scientists who operated there went missing for two weeks, and when they were found several miles away, the pilots who picked them up said that the researchers looked scared. Antarctica is shrouded, shrouded in secrecy as much as it is in ice. I guess those six million evil penguins have something to hide from the world after all. Thank you for spending your time with us. We appreciate it. I would love for you to click the subscribe button and bell notification icon to be kept up to date on the global status. Please share on your social media and be sure to leave a comment down below. Links can be found in the description. Be safe.